dare you like the audacity one thing tyler perry gets right is to hire the best men to play an abusive partner that is one thing he gets right out of everything tyler does that perfectly okay okay hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by so today i just want to give a brief recap as well as my thoughts on the movie that tyler perry has called divorce in the black starring megan good and corey hardick which is tia mori's ex-husband so here are my thoughts basically the movie started out in a church scene whereby there was a funeral for the late um younger brother of Ava, which is played by Megan Good, Ava's husband, um, Dallas, which is played by Corey Hardick. Now, first of all, I have my notes here, so we're gonna go through it one by one. Um, this scene was very odd and kind of traumatizing. The mere fact that one, the preacher man was talking ill of the dead. Um, one may say that it was justified because the person that died, he was a menace to society. He robbed, he raped, he steal, he did very bad things. And basically he was coming from a very toxic bloodline in a sense, you know, um, the preacher man was trying to give a message saying that, um, you know, using this, this guy as an example of what not to do in life and things like that, which to an extent I do understand um why he would say listen um young people try and do better try and be better don't be like this person he was insinuating that he was in hell and then the mother she had an issue with that and long circle short um the most traumatizing part of this um starting point was the fact that the mother ordered her living sons to take out the dead body out of the cat state no that part was a shocker for me i've never seen anything like that in a movie it was very dramatic it grabbed my attention however as the movie progresses it gave the vibe of a normal tyler perry film i grew up on tyler perry i'm from jamaica however my mother has most of tyler perry's dvds you know every time a media film came out like us we were here you know buying up the dvds we love tyler perry movies however i realized that it was similar to as i have it written down meet the browns dara from mad black woman also why did i get married i see a common theme in all of his movies it's just oh black woman married to a bad black guy black woman is being abused physically sexually emotionally all the alleys right oh black they break up and black woman finds love elsewhere however the the ex-partner is jealous and wants her back type of thing and i am here and i'm thinking like is it that tyler perry can't write other movies like can't he write a comedy can't he write something that is not so dark or something that's not so toxic because even though i haven't watched all of his films the the majority of his shows this is the the common theme so is it that it's reflecting his life is this like something that he's seen in in growing up he's seen black women being abused he's seen black men being toxic i'm not saying that all black men are toxic i'm just asking if this is what he grew up to and so because maybe this was his reality that's the only thing that he can write is he traumatized like what is going on you know what i mean even in meet the browns which is like supposed to be a comedy you had the mother um being a crackhead and it, ugh, it's just a mess, okay? Every time I try to love a Tyler Perry film, it's just always some predictable crap. And I'm tired of it. Like, Tyler Perry, I appreciate that you're a billionaire. I'm happy to see that. I, I want you to win. I want you to be successful. However, I'm, I'm really tired of the same toxic, dramatic narrative and I need something fresh. You know what I mean? I didn't watch Mia Coppola, but the same backlash that this movie is getting divorced in the black Mia Coppola got it as well you know what i mean and so this film overall i would rate it like a four out of ten really and truly and let me tell you why because putting aside that it was written by tyler perry i did not like the build up of the film when it said divorce in the black 
my expectation was that she was divorcing him and he was going to be like crazy. I, w I was expecting some life type, lifetime type of vibes. I wasn't really expecting that he would want divorce. And then she, after giving him over the divorce, giving him the divorce, she would be um, stalked and harassed by her ex. Now, I know that this is supposed to depict an abusive situation, an abusive spouse, right? However, I don't know how realistic, Kali, this level, I don't know, of abuse is. I, I really don't know. Because I was watching Tony Baker and his review on the whole movie, right? And he, will, he said something that I agree with. He said that... Um, with this character, you don't see why she fell in love with him. And that's something that I realized with Tyler Perry and his movies and also his shows. Because I used to love watching the haves and the haves nots. But it all it what I realized that in every or in most of his movies, there is a lack of character development. I understand that it's like a two hour film. Um and you don't have a lot of time to go in depth and in detail. However, you can give us a backstory or even a flashback as to how she fell with him. Because a lot of women, when they're in toxic, narcissistic relationships, it's not because they saw the man as being abusive initially. A lot of them, they were duped and even vice versa with men. A lot of men end up with narcissistic women and they were duped because that individual came off as a nice, sweet, bright, fun-loving person and really and truly it was just a facade. So I wanted to see what was the facade as to why she um, picked to be with this person because Megan Good, it's Megan Good, honey. Like, she has a good body, nice, nice personality, everything. You know, she has her life together. She's a banker. She has, she comes from a good home, you know? So understanding the background of megan sorry ava in the movie i'm wondering like why why would you settle for someone who is not up to your standard right in the sense of he like everything that ava was in the movie Dallas was the complete opposite coming from a broken home with a, a bad mom bad brothers like they they, they killed and everything so why what lens were you looking at the parts of the movie that i did appreciate was the part where her mother her mother who has been in a healthy relationship with her father who's a preacher for many years her mother saw this list that her best friend wrote and the list had all of the bad things that dallas did to ava and her mother saw the list and her mother was crying like really really crying and they had a heart to heart in the living room and they were like uh, her, her mother was like what did i ever do like where did i go wrong how why would i why would you feel as if it was okay to accept this abuse and that's a lot of thing with women and men these days like not even these days overall since the beginning of time we a lot of people they have this mentality that you can fix an individual right and when you do that you're setting yourself up for failure like if they're if they came broken they're going to stay broken because you can't fix a person you're not god you weren't made to fix an individual you understand so when you're getting yourself into a relationship with an individual and they come toxic, they come broken, they come with all of these baggage, it's going to break you more than even helping that person to heal. That individual needs to go to counseling, go to therapy, go to God, fast, pray, get the healing, get the deliverance, get all of the things that they need in order to say, yes, I'm ready for a relationship. So that was one common theme. She trying to fix Dallas and in the end it almost cost her her life right and then another theme was the fact that she was a people pleaser because she after the funeral she was running him down everywhere she was going to the bar she was going to after the funeral she was going to the bar she was going to other places trying to find her husband she was basically running him down i'm like listen if a man wants to come to his home he will come to his home right that's why i always say ladies don't chase a man if a man wants to be found he will be found okay he will come for you if a man really loves you if a man really cherishes you you don't have to look for him so i'm like where is her self-esteem where is her self-worth like it doesn't make any sense i didn't really understand where this was coming from i knew that she was a people 
people pleaser. However, like what did something traumatic happen in her life for her to have these people pleasing tendencies? Like that part did not explain that. It just they, he just explained that she had a good home, good life, good this, good that, and then she met Dallas, felt sorry for him, and tried to fix him up and stayed with him for a long time because I believe that they were together since they were teenagers. I know she was thirty seven and she's getting a divorce from him, so that's a long time to be with somebody, and he was her one and only because you know she's a good church girl. Overall, there are a lot of um, ups and downs in this movie. Um, I was a bit disappointed with the couple. Um, I don't remember what her name is, but I'm just going to call her Ava Best Friend and Ava Best Friend's man. You know, in the beginning, while watching the show, I thought that um, they were like a contrast to the toxicity that is Ava and Dallas. But, you know, because they scream, oh, happy couple. Oh, you know, we're, we're good. We're in a good, solid marriage. But... You know, in the latter part of the movie, it was revealed that his best friend um, cheated on Ava's best friend. The, the, the man cheated on, on his wife with some girl named Kelly. So, the only positive relationship that was in the film was the preacher man and his wife, you know? Which was a bit sad. I wish... Th- Tyler also delved into how they overcame the infidelity. It was just blurted out. Like there are a lot of misses in this in this movie. Um, my final thoughts: I didn't like the fact that the father was like he threw irrationality out of the window. Sorry about that. I just got a call. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, he threw rationality out of the window when he went to visit um dallas dallas and his family because dallas had threatened his wife at, wife at the grocery store um he went with a shotgun so i'm like what do you think that was good what do you think was going to happen right um this man is a he comes from a line of criminals he's abusive why would you fight fire with fire is that a christian thing to do you know what i mean i understand that you're angry i understand that you love your wife you love your daughter you want to protect them but i mean doesn't the bible say not to be overcome with anger not to be you know drunk with anger or something like that i'll try and find a scripture okay but the bible talks about anger and not to make it consume you so i don't i don't get that logic i don't get that line of thinking you know and uh, yeah and the bible also says be angry but do not sin so what were you gonna do with trying to threaten him like listen you see when you're fighting the devil you don't fight with his games and his tactics okay because they were going through warfare and they didn't even realize it all right because the mere fact that when ava went to her family's house and went to um you know just just unwind and try to clear her head because of the divorce and the situation the mere fact that she came back a new woman she was refreshed and she was ready to release herself from him and she didn't budge she just signed the papers and everything that hurts his ego because in his mind he thinks that he's all that on a bag of chips and ava is nothing you know when you you are ready to get rid of the narcissist and to get rid of him and all of his legion of demons when you finally rid yourself of them they're the ones that are upset even though they ask for a divorce a breakup or whatever you know what i mean so like i'm just like sir i understand that you love your wife you love your kids you'll do anything to protect them but the bible also says use wisdom and wisdom was not used in the situation and he got shot in the leg by one of his brothers okay one of um dallas's brothers shot ava's dad in the leg because Ava's dad came to confront him and so he ended up in a hospital because he ended up in a hospital ava tried not tried it was successfully lured him to the house in order to um basically get evidence that he was abusive and then killed him in the end you know um there i know that i missed out on a lot of parts in this review so go and watch it for yourself and make up your own mind (laughs) but overall the main theme of the, the the movie was just um knowing your worth not knowing your worth will attract the wrong people you will end up with the wrong marriage the wrong person and also that um 
not to tolerate abuse because you know tolerating abuse can lead to even <sighs> worse things overall i don't really like this movie i think that the writing style and the writing skills could have been better i expected more from tyler perry i i don't know i think that this is kind of lazy in the sense that the characters needed more background stories you know i needed i wanted to see more of of ava's background not just oh seeing some slideshows and seeing that she was a beauty queen she ran track she ran, won the spelling bee i did I, what does that have to do with her um not knowing her worth you know what i mean like if you came from a good home if you came from um a blessed home a lot of people don't come from that and you decided to try to help somebody that is just not in your league i mean why would your self be self-esteem be so low to not to not leave you understand it's not as if it was taught um with dallas Corey hardick's character when they were in the house upstairs and he was crying um he was talking about how someone i don't i don't know if it was his mom but someone someone forced him to kill his dad um he said that when he was drunk and then so many other traumatic experiences that he had that caused a psychological breakdown and showed how crazy he was um it, it showed all of that and i'm just like listen ladies let this be a telltale sign there will be different types of men that come to you there will be healthy men there will be men that are healing there will be men that are healed and there will be men who don't want help choose wisely and it goes for the same thing with the men too there will be healthy women there will be women with daddy issues mommy issues um baby daddy issues choose wisely and choose the best option for yourself don't choose anybody that's lower than you and the thing is that in the movie he was um portrayed as a bum because she had to get him the job and tell him to go and work and then when she was working as a banker he was talking about how oh all she does all day is is stay in the office so why sh why she got a chip yeah because they were supposed to go for dinner with her best friend and her best friend's husband so when she came home like he wanted to hurry up and go and she wanted to freshen up and i can understand that as a woman when i go there to work and i'm coming home i don't want to go out in my work clothes like it smells of work i want to change i want to freshen up i want to look nice i want to look good but he was like oh all you do all day is sit down in a bank and i'm like how dare you disrespect the lady's line of work at least she's working you understand and it's no shame to anybody who is unemployed but it's one thing when you're unemployed you're unemployed and you have the option to work you have a, somebody giving you a job and then you're disrespecting the person that's giving you that job like how dare you how dare you like the audacity one thing tyler perry gets right is to hire the best men to play an abusive partner that is one thing he gets right out of everything tyler does that perfectly okay okay but overall um I think you should watch it just to give it a fair critique on your end. For me, what I wanted to see, I think the, the casting was fine. The casting was fine. But my major problem was just lack of character development. The same storyline, it's just the same story repackaged differently, right? As I said, this is like, this smells like Daria from Mad Black Woman. And, um, why did I get married? mixed up in a new film okay um i'm not gonna tell you not to watch it you do what you want to do you're grown right but this is my review there are other parts of the film that i will not get into because for me it didn't stick out that's why i'm just not gonna talk about it but as i said the church scene the part where oh and let me talk about the guy that she met i mean He reminded me of the dude with the with a bad wig. Shamor Sh what's it what's it called? Shamor Moore. <laughs> In there for Mad Black Woman. Like 
they all have that same vibe you know the laid back vibe oh i'm here to rescue you i i i, I love women type of thing going on like and they're very handsome chill and and yeah i mean i don't know if he adds anything to it to be honest because I understand that he was trying to, he protected her when, you know, they slept together and the, 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 what's, what's his name? Dallas came over and saw him in the bed. He got angry and, you know, they fought and he won and protected her and things like that. Um, there was this, the, the, the scene where they were at the carnival and he had the opportunity to take advantage of her. They were longtime friends, and I believe that she knew him before she met Dallas. He was really interested in her, and he waited 17 years in order to be with her because while she was um, with Dallas, she was in a marriage that was also toxic and abusive as well. Um, I don't know if I like him. I, I, I really don't know. Um, in the beginning, he came off a bit pushy. He was just always there like his father her father was setting her up with dallas and she just did not want that the same thing her mother was trying to set her up with him and she didn't want that but eventually you know she came around i really like the fact that he protected her interests in the sense that he could have taken advantage of her at the carnival but he didn't so much respect to that and ladies that's something that you need to learn like a man um who is for you will not take sexual advantage of you you know and vice versa men a woman that is for you she won't take sexual advantage of you as well you know but there's not much to say about the love interest aside from the fact that you know he had Ava's interest at heart he respected her boundaries and uh, they had chemistry yeah overall I think that this movie was a 4 out of 10 based off of um the line of work that we know Tyler Perry can do and the line of work that we've seen from him is just a typical run-of-the-mill um woe is me black woman in distress captain save a black woman from a bad relationship type of trope bad marriage type of trope and I'm kind of tired of it um I don't know if there's any other types of Tyler Perry movie that's out there for me to watch but this is what I know and this is what you know is the most popular um he needs to write some 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 happy comedy or something like i need something to laugh at tyler please <laughs> but i think you should still watch the movie and make up your own decision these are just my thoughts and there's a lot of things that black women today can learn from it it's unfortunate that we have so many women, not just black women, in toxic relationship with men who are abusive. And some women, they won't leave. They would literally rather stay in a relationship and die on a hill than to leave the man alone. Um, but I'm glad that in the end, she saw her value and she saw her worth. And she did leave, even though it almost cost her in the end. But I'm glad that, you know, the father had prepared her, gave her guns. They placed the guns all over the house and she was smart enough to lower him um, into the house by talking about the intimate relationship between her and the, um, the, the guy that was pursuing her. Um, yeah, so that shows that she knows her, her ex-husband very well. Thank you so much for watching this review. Let me know your thoughts and your comments down below. Do you think that my review was fair and just? Is there anything that I'm missing? I don't know. I know that there are some parts that I didn't delve into. So share them down below. What was your favorite part? What was the best part? What was the worst part? Let me know and I'll comment right back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.